with John Cross from the Mirror. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Um, having gone ahead twice, do you, do you feel disappointed, frustrated, good performance overall? Yeah, because very proud of the team, especially with the situation that we are um, going through at the moment and probably that we cannot imagine. But uh, overall, I think, especially the first half, it was uh, a total domination. I think we were really, really good, really sharp, really efficient, really determined. And the result probably should have been bigger. And then, yeah, without considering nothing, basically, we gave two goals away, which is the disappointing part. And, uh, and the fact that we could not see the game off, um, especially looking at ourselves for two things that we didn't do particularly well and obviously about other aspects. Could, could you have snatched one at the end? Did you think that was unfairly ruled out? Sorry? Could you have snatched one at the end? Did you think that was unfairly ruled out? I prefer not to comment. OK, we've got Simon. Andy. Michelle, how big an impact is the, the changes in the defence made, obviously on that left side with Julie or Mars? Yeah. How an impact that thing against the I don't know. It's what it is, you know. Obviously, uh, we had five injuries in the back line. Uh, we have to adapt to it and, and we'll continue to adapt, you know, with the situation that um, that we have. Um, support them, praise the players because the chorus that they played today again was unbelievable. And keep going. Simon from the mail. Cheryl, given the circumstances of the injuries and, and the changes to the back line, do you, how do you view the, the point? Is it, is it two drops in your eyes? Yeah, very disappointed. I'm really disappointed that we haven't won the game today because I think we were better but especially because in two things that we have to do a bit better we didn't and uh, and some other stuff obviously uh, I, I don't think he's ever missed two premier league games in a row in his entire arsenal career due to injury how much does that tell you about his consistency but the fact with urian coming back as well yeah. that your players you know fought really hard to get back for a game like this yeah it's uh, his consistency the fact that he's very young as well and he's been very lucky with injuries Hopefully continues to be there, but yeah, after a few weeks off, uh, the way he played, competed, it was um, exceptional. I think we had some big, big individual performances today, like like the team. Jordan from the front. Uh, just on Julian going off, I think uh, well, we asked yesterday about taking risks with players. Is he one that you took a risk and had that backfired a bit with him coming off? Well, I think we, we've done everything that we possibly could to accelerate that process, and he was so willing. The, the team, the medical staff, has done an amazing work, and uh, we gave ourselves the chance to, to compete. Uh, I don't know the extent of the injury. If there is one, the same would be Gabby. But, uh, yeah, continue to go. And just um, Virgil van Dijk was involved in an early incident with Kai Havertz, um, which I'm not sure if VAR looked at it. Did you see, you see it the other day? I haven't seen the, the replay, no. Sam, take off. I don't know, but he could not run. So that's why he said it straight away. So I don't know if what happened. I don't know if it's the, the knee joint or the ankle. Um, they are assessing him right now. So. Ed, come here. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Just wondering if you had um, any other issues with, with some of the referee's decisions today. Like there was a penalty potentially mm. in the first half. What did you think? Prefer not to comment. Kaya, sorry. Amy, Athletic. Uh, hi, Mikel. Um, you just said that you know the situation going through you like you couldn't imagine. Do you feel a bit like nothing's going through? You? No. Well, this is football. You know, circumstances um, that we have to, they're going to make us better, and they are making us better. So um, if we are able to be where we are and compete in the manner that we do, and I see the team, and I had no doubts three days before, I think I told you, we're going to be playing on Sunday. And, uh, and we started uh, flying, and we were the better team by far. Um, but yeah, we needed to grab the points today to make a reflection on where we are and where we want to be. We couldn't do it, but for sure we are there. Can I also ask if you feel that maybe you're running a bit out of puff in the second half, that playing so many games with 10 men, it kind of catches up on you a bit maybe? Well, I don't know. I think I'm more disappointed and frustrated about one thing that we didn't do, that we had to do in the second half, but... Uh, yeah, on the physical part, we look at all the stats. The stats are not dropping. We had better stats in second half in many games, especially individually. Uh, some positive, like Mikkel, for example, hasn't played 90 minutes for, I don't know, five months probably, uh, since the Euros or whatever. So a lot of positive things to take and, um, and carry on going. OK, last two now. James, ESPN. Um, Mikkel, five points now for City. I mean, it's only nine games in. Yeah. Well, you don't want to be in that position. We're going to be five points ahead, but this is um, where we are. And, uh, and again, I think the team is 
it's alive. The team wants it. You know, I feel it every single day. The players I cannot play, they're, they're upset um, that they are not playing. The ones that they get injured, the ones that they are there and they are in a good moment. So things will turn up and we're going to in a better place, but we are certainly there. Okay, finally, we'll go to James from CBS. I know you don't want to comment too much on the incident with Oaf, but have you, have you been told what the foul was blown for, Kivy or Havertz? Is it not? No, 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 nothing. I mean, are you going to and get an on that. Well, I'm sure that we will have a clarity or a letter afterwards, but uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. What, okay, what was the one thing that you really enjoyed? I keep that for myself. <laughs> Sorry okay, about that. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>